So now let's talk about lips. What can we do with a person's lips? We can increase the volume. We can aim to change the shape. For example, if we have very straight lips and we want to have some wavy appearance, some contour. And we can also add very sharp contour to the upper border of the lip. Uh, firstly, we need to learn the anatomy of lips. Uh, this is called vermilion border. People, when they say the word lips, they imagine the vermilion. The lip is the whole structure. The red part of the structure is called vermilion. And this is the border where the vermilion joins with the skin. Or simply an upper border of vermilion. And the area between the nose and the cupid's bow, and cupid's bow in this is the center portion of the vermilion border, is called a philtrum. Sometimes when you are injecting the vermilion border to make the lip more accented, sharper, to give it more character, you might want to inject the margins of the philtrum as well. And you will see me doing that in the videos. This makes this area a little more hollow and gives a nice shadow and it's a natural feature of the lip. If it's sharper, it looks better. But don't over treat it. Sometimes you will find lips with corners pointing down. When you're doing a lip in in injection, uh, you want to raise these corners as well. So I will show that in the video clip too. I'll be showing how to enhance the lip border, the lip vermilion border. And also we'll be using cannula to volumize the lips. And you will see everything in pure detail in injection videos. Now there is something called tubercles in the lip. I'm not sure if you can imagine, but for example, the lower lip has fuller sides and it's a little more empty in the middle. It's like a berry here, a round shape. You can enhance that by placing filler directly in the lip. And in this case, you will need to use the needle. I'll be showing that as well. And the upper lip also has tubercles. They are much harder to notice. But if you would like to shape the lip better, you should enhance vermilion border, including the filtrum, for example, raise the corners, volumize the lips, use cannula for this, needle for the border, needle for the corners, cannula for volume, and needle if you want to enhance tubercles. And they sh uh, the needle should be inserted a couple of millimeters in depth, do aspirate, and then inject from 0.1 to 0.2 maximum filler to avoid nodules. So how to volumize the lip? The key point is to keep more volume in the center. This is how the lip is naturally shaped. The lip should be rolling inside when you go to the sides it always looks better. I sometimes don't understand some patients who come and say I want to lift these areas or I want my lip corners to be very full. They might not know how strange it might look. You can fill these areas a little, but do not over treat the sides because it might look funny and it will definitely not look natural. And when injecting the lips, do place attention to the lip projection. You should always inject a little more or at least the same amount to the upper lip. There is a method called Steiner's line. If we take a point midway in the columella right here and we take a point on our chin, we will have a line which is slightly bent forward. So the lip should follow the Steiner's line. 
upper lip should be a little more projected so that when you place the Steiner's line looking from the side projection of the face you will see that the Steiner's line will touch the edge of both lips and since it's curved or rotated forward upper lip should be always a little to the front I think the left picture looks better than the right one so don't inject too much in the lower lip so how to perform the injection I like to start with the vermilion border do not over treat this area I'd say you should inject around 0.1 maximum 0.2 if you are injecting the filtrum as well you'll be you'll see me doing this in pure detail in the injection videos now I like to omit the size of the lips I don't like to put filler here but that's your choice and then we use the cannula making a puncture from the side and going inside the lip if you still want to add more shape you can use tubercles these are the tubercles marked here you'll need a needle these are the points where you should insert the needle inside the lip go a couple of millimeters in depth aspirate and inject but don't be too generous because you don't want to leave any nodules 